So the crank shot came to the shop this week. A few people requested that I cover it, and seeing that it's always been on my list, and I've always wanted to cover this weapon, I figure what a better time than now. So the crank shot is going to bring us down some avenues that I don't think I've ever covered before on this channel. First and foremost, I believe this will be the first fully automatic sniper that I've ever featured in my videos. If I am wrong and forgetting one, I'll link it below, obviously, because it'll be a related video anyway. And the fact that because the crank shot is a fully automatic weapon, it actually works really really well with Sub-Zero Zenith. So before we even get into the perks or anything more about the weapon, let's actually talk about the loadout that I'm using. So we're using Sub-Zero Zenith because when you crit with the sniper, it'll freeze enemies in place. Now you could obviously not use Sub-Zero Zenith and then throw either Redline Ramirez in the lead or the uh, Rabbit Raider Jonesy. Either of these would be a good lead if you decide to run a crit build on the sniper that is, with Rabbit Raider Jonesy of course. And Either of those could make for a very good, you know, just regular sniper loadout. But I feel like this weapon is not... I mean, it's strong enough to be a primary. It's not a crazy endgame weapon. You're not going to be carrying the team or anything, but you will be helpful. I think your best goal is uh, to run as a support role, meaning you want to just run Sub-Zero Zenith, freeze the Smashers in place, bully the Smashers, and then kill the Smashers because you really got to flex on them. You know, if you have the T-Pose emote, even better. So that's kind of the way that you're going to want to run this weapon, in my opinion. Of course, like I said, you can just run a normal sniper build and go with that. If you don't have Redline, you don't have uh, Ravarator Jonesy, or even if you have either of them and you just don't want to use Co and Coconuts, there is one more final option with the uh, the Ice Queen. So she ups your damage by 14% against frozen enemies. That is just 3% shy of being better than Ramirez. It's just a little bit less than the Go and Coconuts damage bonus if you're eating your coconuts all the time. And I'm not going to do the crit math again. I think it's about 21% on average this tends to give you. So she's not usable in my loadout that I'm running here. However, if you do have any gaps in this loadout or you don't like Go and Coconuts, she is an option. So going more into this weapon, it's essentially what I said. It's a fully auto sniper and it is really, really fun to use. It's not going to be one-shotting anything like snipers usually do, but it's going to be shooting a lot of bullets, so it's going to make up for it. Obviously, you have a scope, so you're going to be pretty accurate while you're shooting at enemies. I highly recommend aiming for the head, because like most snipers, it has a really good headshot multiplier, and that's pretty much it. It's a part of the Rat Rod weapon set. It's, uh, it's a weapon that exists. It sounds pretty cool, and it does make for a very fun loadout. You might notice by my jovial tone, it's actually not just one of those eh, kind of fun not that good weapons no i actually really appreciate it when somebody runs zenith in the 140 160 zones any hard mission that we're running if you got a guy freezing smashers that is very very helpful just know that you do want to kill that smasher before he gets unthawed because he will continue running now if you do keep hitting an enemy i do believe that it freezes them again so you can perma stall an enemy you can just continue firing on the exact same enemy and keep them frozen until they are dead which is a really really nice bonus to have and one last thing to mention is that Zenith is activating water damage. So if you're going to be perking this weapon, let's talk about it. And because of that segue, I'm actually going to start with the element. Uh, there are a couple of ways. First and foremost, I run it energy just because I want my crank shot to be a catch-all. But if you are using Zenith and you want to go all in, I do highly recommend saving it for the fire missions and running water on your crank shot as well. That being said, if you are going against nature enemies, for example, it might actually make sense to run this thing fire or nature. That way, every single enemy is going to be getting hit by at least fire, nature, or water, if, if you know what I'm saying. So if you run nature on this thing, you'll be super effective against water, super effective against fire, and you'll be neutral to nature and if you run fire on this thing you'll be super effective against the nature zombies the water from sub-zero zenith will hit neutral against water and it'll be super effective against fire so i kind of recommend just matching the element with water because that can get a little confusing but if you're not just going to be using this with zenith then energy is probably a good way to go now the perks on this thing are a little tricky so for the six perk i don't really think it matters afflictions a little bit of extra damage headshot elimination causes an explosion actually makes a lot of sense it doesn't really make a ton of sense to snare enemies if you're free using them as Zenith, that is, so I don't really think it totally matters what six perk you have on this, but the headshot explosions cause an elimination is probably the most useful for a sniper because I do highly recommend aiming for the head anyway, because of course, as you can see, it has a two times multiplier, so you'll essentially double your damage just by shooting for the head. Now for the rest of the perks, it really depends on how you're playing. If you're not running Zenith, the perks that I have here are pretty okay, but fire rate will be draining your mag very, very fast, and it already has like a five point something base fire. It's really not that fast anyway so i do 
think a second crit damage perk is worthwhile. And I can say that from experience because I actually changed my schematic to Fire 8 for this video, and I'm putting it back to crit damage just because I don't think that it helped me nearly as much as more damage uh, would. Now, if you are specifically just using this as a freeze ray for Zenith, then I'm not, for the first time ever, I'm actually recommending a second crit rating perk. I know, I know, diminishing returns, ah, but the difference is we're not actually trying to do damage with this weapon at that point. If you do a second crit rating perk, you will be doing less damage with your sniper. A crit damage perk will be overall more bang for your buck. But if you're just trying to freeze enemies as fast as possible, and you're trying to maximize the use of Zenith, then yeah, a second crit rating perk would bring the crit chance up to about 50% or so, and that would be just enough to crit, you know, every other shot. So that might be useful to you. I have seen some people successfully run that. However, I really can't recommend it because you are shooting a weapon after all. All of your damage is not coming from Zenith. He's just freezing them in place. I do recommend using this weapon with the double crit damage. That way you can actually do some meaningful damage. That said, this is also a sniper. It does do damage, as you might have noticed. So a double headshot build is actually not that bad. Now, I wouldn't run double headshot if you're running this with Zenith because it's not going to be critting like ever. <laughs> but if you do want to run double headshot, throw a reload perk and a damage perk up here, you'd actually be doing some really consistent damage. Of course, it's only consistent if you're aiming for the head. Enemies do like to turn around in this game. I've seen it happen. I don't have a ton of gameplay of it because it's kind of rare, but when an enemy does turn around and make it hard for you to hit a headshot, um, that becomes a double dead perk. And I'm chuckling up while I'm recording this because it's kind of ridiculous, but it's always good in theory to run double headshot, but in practice, it's very, very hard to maintain consistent headshot damage. So yeah, as one final overview, if you're running this for, I guess, totally rocking out for that matter, or a normal build, this is honestly the perk loaded I'd recommend. This is the best all around. The, uh, the crit rating would help with Zenith, so this is kind of the schematic that I used, other than, of course, I had fire rate in my, in my footage here. And then if you specifically just want to use it as a freeze, freeze right, use a double crit rating. Or, you know, wild card, if you just want a freeze ray weapon, I do want to draw attention to the fact that the vacuum tube sniper exists. This thing has like a 10 fire rate and can be up to the fire rate perk, I believe. So this is not within the scope of today's video. But if you want me to cover the vacuum tube sniper soon here, uh, yeah, this is like... This is a very, very good alternative if you're just trying to freeze enemies. I did get a Chain Lightning perk on this, so I don't know why I haven't already covered that weapon. I just kind of wanted to talk about the, the crank shot today. What do you want me to say? That all said, that just about covers it for the crank shot, though. It's a very fun weapon. I really like this weapon. I wish I would have covered it sooner. If you guys want to support the channel, feel free to use code MISSAGE to check out. If you guys want to become a channel member, you guys can use the emotes down in the comments below. I'd really appreciate it. It helps me out. If you guys want to follow me on Twitch, the link is below. My streams are awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, have a nice day. Do 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 do